We have already discussed the cutaneous nerve supply in the gluteal region. In this section, we will get into the detail of the nerves that supply the muscles. In this diagram, you can see the all the structures in the gluteal region, including muscles and the vessels and nerves that supply them. Let's start by talking about the superior gluteal nerve. The superior gluteal nerve is a branch of the lumbosa complexus. It enters the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen, above the piriformis, runs forwards between the gluteus medius and minimus, and supplies three muscles, the gluteus medius, the gluteus minimus, and the tensor fascia latae. Next is the inferior gluteal nerve. Inferior gluteal nerve is also a branch of the sacral plexus given off in the pelvis. It enters the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen below the piriformis and ends by supplying the gluteus maximus only, to which it is fully committed. As for the large nerve that you can see here is the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is the thickest nerve in the body. It is the main continuation of the sacral plexus. It enters the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen below the piriformis, runs downwards between the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity, and enters the back of the thigh at the lower border of the gluteus maximus. It does not give any branches in the gluteal region. Next is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Posterior cutaneous nerve is a branch of the sacral plexus. It enters the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen, below the piriformis, and runs downwards medial or posterior to the sciatic nerve. It continues in the back of the thigh immediately deep to the deep fascia. The nerve gives a perineal branch which crosses the ischial tuberosity, supplies the skin of the posterior two-thirds of the scrotum or labium mugis. Gluteal branches which wind upwards around the lower border of the gluteus maximus and supply the skin of the postero inferior quadrant of the gluteal region. Pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve is a branch of the sacral plexus. Only a small part of this nerve is seen in the gluteal region. It enters this region through the greater sciatic foramen. It then crosses the apex or lateral end of the sacrospinous ligament, medial to the internal pudendal vessels. It leaves the gluteal region by passing into the lesser sciatic foramen through which it enters the ischioanal fossa. It does not supply any structure in the gluteal region. Lastly, we have the nerves to the quadratus femoris and obturator internus. These nerves are also branches of the sacral plexus. They enter the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen and crosses the ischial spine. Nerve to quadratus femoris supplies quadratus femoris muscle, while the nerve to the obturator internus supplies both the obturator internus and the genellus superior muscles. That ends our discussion on the nerves of the gluteal region. We will now go through the arteries that supply this region. Have you ever heard of video books? Scotia.com is delighted to present video books, medical books that have been tailored into a series of videos. Scotia.com videos are presented in the same order as the book's chapters. Explore now and make your learning easy.